Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play Free Games and welcome to episode 17 of WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. Today we've got NXT and we're opening NXT with the Baron Corbin Open Challenge. Here comes the man who is obviously setting up these Open Challenges. And we've got a man making his debut today who's going to be facing Baron Corbin. The superstar just had that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. If you're just tuning in, don't go anywhere. This match is going to be can't miss. Baron Corbin looks ready. BC in the building. The end of days, Lone Wolf. Baron Corbin looking to make a statement. He has signalled his intentions that for the he wants to go for the NXT Championship in the future. McCarvin. Who's he going to be facing? Who is this guy? Here he comes. You guys might recognize him if you're an NXT fan. Is of course someone who's been in the business for a long time. So Ty Dillinger wants to try tonight at Baron Corbin. <coughs> Excuse me guys. But Ty Dillinger wants to try his hand tonight at beating Baron Corbin. It could happen. I mean with the run of uh, form that Baron Corbin's been on, possibly not, but who knows? Dillinger looks ready. I was trying to find his theme song and download it, but I couldn't. So I just used a little bit of a, d a default one. Oh, I found it, but I couldn't get it downloaded in time, so... Ty Dillinger, 10 is the number that he's associated with. Now Baron Corbin is going to go into his usual mode of destroying people here. Bat break already. Now Corbin not giving Ty Dillinger any time. Snap simplex by Corbin. Picking up Dillinger. No, just taking him down again. Baron Corbin just taking apart Dillinger here. This isn't probably how Dillinger expected the match to go, but... Baron Corbin just tossing them around. Now Dillinger try to fight back. Baron Corbin off the ropes. Caught into a headlock by Dillinger. Baron Corbin says no. Dillinger says yes, I'm fighting back. Baron Corbin says no, you're not. Dillinger says yes, I am. Baron Corbin taking him down. Off the ropes. A power bomb by Corbin. That could do it. Both men in the ropes. Now Baron Corbin just tried to take down Dillinger here. Dillinger with the reversal, dropped all off the ropes, comes Corbin. 
a tie right drop by Dillinger. And now Ty Dillinger try to fight back here. Dillinger a good performer in his own right, but Baron Corbin may just be too destructive and strong and powerful for Ty Dillinger here tonight. Maybe not the best way to make a name for yourself. And elbow drop. Elbows by uh, Corbin here. Cover. It's a good kick out. Good reversal by Baron Corbin. Ty Dillon just still try to fight back. There's no point though, because Corbin knows the counters. Power bomb by Corbin. Oh, reversal of it by Dillinger. Nice reversal. Now take down. Nice take down by Ty Dillinger. Now Corbin throwing Dillinger into the corner. Up on the top rope now. Dillinger with a good reversal. And a nice flying clothesline. Ty Dillinger really taking the fight to Baron Corbin here. For now anyway. Corbin just taking him down. And now the signature from Baron Corbin. I still haven't learned the name of that move yet. Into a cover. And somehow Ty Dillinger is still fighting out. And Corbin says no. Now Corbin with some more elbows to the head. Corbin says it wasn't a wise move to challenge me tonight. And Corbin's up a challenge has yet to be stopped by anyone. Corbin says once he loses he'll stop the open challenge. But he hasn't lost yet. Corbin just trying to make a statement, head but to the back of the head and now just tossing him across the ring. Now doing the same again. Ty Jones just still continue to fight back, but Corbin says no. Dylan just says yes again. Corbin says no again. Corbin taking down Dylan with a beautiful back suplex. And we don't see Corbin go up top often. But he does today. And now the signature again. By Corbin. Nice takedown. Somehow Dillinger with the wearers all to reverse Corbin to corner. And now Corbin could be in trouble. What's Ty Dillinger looking for? Fist drop off the second rope. And now Corbin has got Dillinger in a bad position. Jesus Christ. Both men hurt from that. And now Corbin setting it up. The end of days. The end of days by Baron Corbin and that's going to do it here for Ty Dillinger. Dillinger tried his way, tried his effort. Tried to beat Corbin but 
Corbin just too powerful. Of course, near fall there. Dolan to try to fight back, but Baron Corbin just taking him down with a back body drop. I need to learn the name of that move. I feel like it's a flaming arrow or something, but I'll take a look at it later. Anyway, Corbin hitting the end of days. It looks like Baron Corbin will be continuing his open challenge next week on NXT. Baron Corbin wins tonight as we move on to the next match between Bo Dallas and Victor O'Connor. Oh, I can't remember which one it is offhand. It's one of the Ascension. But anyway, let's head to that match just now. Anyway, Bo Dallas representing the social outcasts here in this match. Obviously, got his friend and uh, stable mate Curtis Axel at ringside tonight. And I haven't actually got the social outcasts theme yet, so I'm just going to use the singles themes for the social outcasts until I get it sorted. But all you have to do, guys. Is Bo leave? Of course, you have to Bo leave and the social outcasts. But the Ascension, I don't think he'll be doing a lot of Bo leaving. talking about Connor but it is in fact Victor who's going to be the one in the ring Connor's just going to be a ringside but both the Ascension members are dangerous and vicious Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel got a lucky tag team win over them last week now this week Bo, da uh, Bo Dallas has got to face Victor and next week Curtis Axel will face Connor in singles competition as well Dean Ambrose on the loading screen. Now Victor and Bo Dallas. We'll try and win for their respective teams. Victor not really a fast paced sort of guy. And again neither is Bo. Bo Dallas with a back suplex. Reversal by Bo. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. Well, taking a look at Bo Dallas. Uh oh. Uh, Victor's got a Bo caught. Oh, God. It's nearly impossible to stand, let alone deliver any offense. Bad body drop. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet like And the ascension of more revenge from last week. The Ascension think that, uh, that the social outcast got a lucky win last week. And Bo wants to prove that it wasn't just luck. 
that he believed and he won. Well, he an actual one. Uh, good spine must have had Bo Dallas. Reverse into Enziguri. Nice reversal by Bo. Uh, but throwing Victor off the ropes. Victor the reversal. Nice reversal. Nice spinning kick by Victor. Nice fist drop from the top rope. The Ascension don't usually go top rope often. But when they do, it happens like that. And now Victor just taking the punishment here to Bo. Bo refusing to stay down. Now Bo try to come back here against Victor. Throwing Victor into the corner. And now Irish up across the ring. Axel and Connor uh, watching from the outside. Their respective tag team partners. And next week the chains will be off for Curtis Axel as he goes to face Connor. Well this week we've got a ball leave. Well then crashing into each other. And now a back break by Connor, even though it's Victor. Foots under the ropes and Axel's gonna get involved. Bud Dallas taking advantage of the distraction from Axel throwing Victor into the corner. A drop kick by Bo. Elbow by Bo. And now another backbreaker by Victor. Another fish drop from the top rope. And one of the most boring taunts in the world. Uppercut. And now looking to steal the win. I thought it was a three count, no, just a two and a half count. Bo Dallas. Oh, sorry, Axel has been ejected from ringside. And now Dallas. All alone here. Sen uh, sorry, Victor thinks he's got this in the bag. I was about to say Ascension thinks he's got this in the bag. But the suplex and a kick out by Connor. It's by Victor. I'm getting Connor and Victor mixed up. God, the kick out by Victor. They're both the same to me. Now Victor within the collar and elbow tie up. And take down to Bo. Nice cross line by Bo Dallas. Could be in trouble here. And drag off the top rope. Now Victor taunting. One, two, kick out by Bo. Got out of the way of that one. Bang! He's going 
Another uppercut. And now the power bomb on the outside. Victor looking for the count out win. And it could do it. Connor getting involved physically. And I'll kick to the gut here. Bo Dallas is at a disadvantage here at the hands of the Ascension. Dallas has got to stay down from that. That was a close count. Submission attempt by Bud Dallas now. Work on the arms with the submission hold, but Bud Dallas hasn't worked on the arms the whole match. Face buster. Now cover. And kick out by Victor. And now Connor's been ejected from ringside. It's a one on one situation. Ball reversed into a roll up. Off the ropes into a spine buster. Bo Dazzler. And Bo Dallas picks up the victory over Victor with the Bo Dazzler. Good match, a good solid match between these two. But Bo Dallas getting the victory following the Bo Dazzler. As you can see here, the board does the getting the job done on Victor. All you had to do was ball leave. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. Man, this is one of those wins you don't forget anytime soon. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest. No, Bow Dallas with a victory lap. Bo Dallas celebrating. All you had to do was Bo leave. Anyway, up next, we've got a match between the NXT Junior Heavyweight Champion Kurt, uh, Neville and he's going to face off against Kalisto. That's now. the Adrian part of his name a while back I don't know why I said Adrian Neville but he's ready for his challenge tonight one half of the Lucha Dragons both of them coming out here though A 
both the Lucha Dragons out here. Lucha, 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 Lucha. Anyway, Neville and Kalisto are going to face off a really high flying, fast paced singles match. This match is going to be pretty good. I say so myself. Crowd trying NXT. Now Neville will try to get a quick start. Kalisto the drop toe hold. And the action might be too fast to call in this match. Neville taken down by Kalisto. These two men know each other well. Respect the hell out of each other. Now Neville. Let's get your take on it. to the outside. And now Springboard move taking down Kalista. Throwing back in the ring. Oh, Neville missing. Oh, Neville with a nice snap suplex. Oh, top. Goes Neville. Caught by Kalisto into a power bomb. DDT by Neville. Another snap suplex. Oh, back suplex by Neville. You thought this match would be high flying? You'd be wrong. This match has been pretty physical so far. Neville been in control so far. It hasn't changed yet. Quick cover by Neville. And Kalisto, no problem kicking out. Neville missing the high risk move, and Kalisto could take advantage. Neville with a kick to the back. No. Oh, shooting star press. Kalisto reversing and now splash by Kalista. No spinning kick from Kalista. Take down by Neville. And Zaguri attempt reversed by Kalisto into a drop kick. And now Kalisto the back suplex to Neville. Neville with a nice reversal. And Kalisto reversing back. Like I said, these guys know each other well. Both high flying. Well, I don't know, high flying uh, superstars. So I just try to look for. And now, Neville proving it with another shooting star press attempt, which once again reversed by Kalisto. Kalisto knows Neville too well. And a nice end to Gurry by the masked superstar. Drop kick to the ankle. A nice reversal. Well, Neville with a hard Irish whip. Now Neville. Getting reversed by Kalisto here. Kalisto, Hurricane Rana. The agility of Kalisto comes into play. And now DDT by Neville. I could finish off Kalisto. Kalisto getting back to his feet though. And now I need to the gut. And a nice Hurricane Rana. This match is fast paced like I said it would be. And now Neville drop kick.
Now back suplex by the junior heavyweight champion. And now it's a long way to go. And he does get it reversed again. Neville trying to hit that, super, uh, that shooting star press. It's not happening. No cover. And Kalisto getting helped out by his tag team partner here. Fast paced match here between Kalisto and Neville. You've got to think if Kalisto gets the win here. That puts him right in contention for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Sin Cara was in contention after beating Tyson Kidd the other week. And now a roll up off. And Neville's got a three, but Sin Cara getting involved again. The referee admonishing Sin Cara here. Neville still got Kalisto down. Ref, turn around. Kalisto man, enough time to kick out. Two and a half on Kalisto. And now power bomb. Sit up, power bomb by Neville. One. Oh. Now Kalista reversing into a, uh, a Russian leg sweep. Up top goes Neville. Oh, nice. Reversal. Nice reversal there. God. Nice move by Kalisto, Hurricane Rana. Moonsault. Standing moonsault. And now a net breaker by Kalisto, taking it to the junior heavyweight champion here tonight. Another Hurricane Rana. Kalisto not letting up. Standing moonsault once again. Now a reversal by Neville into a score by a, a kick out into a bridge. And Sinkara just accidentally cost his tag team partner here the match. Sinkara in sent away from ringside. Now we can have a normal one on one match. Shining Wizard by Neville could finish off Kalisto here. Kalisto's in the ropes. Hurricane Rana. Wow. Up top goes Neville. Trying to shoot that press again and again. Kalisto getting out of it. And now kicks by Neville. Wise move. And now Neville finally hitting that shoot that press. And a kick out by Kalisto. And now Neville may have Kalisto in trouble. Reverse 450. Reverse 450 splash. And somehow Kalisto kicking out the reverse 450 splash from Neville. Now off the ropes goes Neville. And Kalisto neck breaker. Off the turnbuckle goes Kalisto. Kalisto with a reversal. And another score by by Neville. And kick out once again like Kalisto. These two men know each other well, like I've said. Very fast paced match up here between these two high flyers. Neville with the counter and now taking down Kalisto. Both men down from that. Who's going to get up first? 
Both men getting up around the same time. Kalisto catching Neville. Neville catching Kalisto, but Kalisto with a neck breaker. And this match has been fast paced to say the least. Splashed by Kalisto. Picking up Neville. And then Neville with another roll up. Another two count. Plenty of near falls in this match. You gotta think if this was a title match between these two, it would be a very exciting title match. And I'll cover off the shoot star press once again, a kick out by Kalista. Nice to all DDT, or whatever you call it. And a cover, kick out again. Uh oh, Neville taking it to the outside now with Kalista. to the mask and off the ropes is Kalista into a cover by Neville off the Hurricane Rana kick out this has been a good match another Hurricane Rana now Neville using this in Caraton <laughs> trying to fire the crowd up here Russian leg sweep up top again this time Kalisto catching him. Arm drag off the top. What the hell happened there? Kalisto catching Neville into Hurricane Rana. Uh oh. What's Kalisto thinking? What's Kalisto thinking? One of the most retarded splashes in history. What was that splash? Right, Kalisto, Kalisto catching Neville. And another kick out from the junior heavyweight champion. What the hell was that splash that Kalisto just did? Now Neville taking advantage of Kalisto. Both of these men, high flying, fast paced action here. And now Neville taking Sakara down at the legs again. Unleashing it for the second time now. Now Neville could be fired up. Yep, there's the reversal by Kalisto. Oh, this spells trouble right Salida del Sol. And somehow Neville. Managing to call it, kick out the Salida del Sol. And now I move again. Frankensteiner by Neville. Now reversal by Kalista. Oh my. Knees to the gut. And out goes Kalista. What the hell? Kalista somehow managing to count, uh, con make contact with that move. Roll up by Neville. Another kick out by Kalisto. What's it going to take to put one of these men down? Kalisto hit the Salida del Sol, and uh, it wasn't. It wasn't it. Kalisto with another reversal. Neville reversing the drop kick and now back suplex. You gotta think Neville will want to put the finishing touches on this match soon. Well, either of these men will. And Neville's in control. And I'll, I'm up to the top. And now. Red Arrow. 
from Neville. One, two, three. What a match between Neville and Kalisto there. Kalisto, the best effort he could, but the junior heavyweight champion was just too much. Look at this. Kalisto tried to roll him up, but Neville kicked out. The Salida del Sol, watch this. Neville kicking out somehow of the Salida del Sol. And now the Frankensteiner, reverse Frankensteiner from Neville. And then a hurricane round from the top rope, followed up by the red arrow. And the one, two, three. I admit that I, I didn't time the count properly. But anyway, the junior heavyweight champion picks up another win. That's a big win right there. Talk about making your presence felt in a match. Guys, I have to say, that was an amazing match. Neville picks up the win here on NXT. And up next, I believe you have Divas action between Dana Brooke and Cameron. I could be wrong, and it might be a completely different match, but who knows? Let's head on to the next match. Anyway guys, here we are, I was wrong about the next match, it's actually a number one contenders match to determine who will face Neville at NXT TakeOver Monsters Ball between Adam Rose and Hideo Itami. The following contest is scheduled for football, making its way to the ring. Accompanied by Curtis Axel, from Mushiki Bahama, weighing in at 221 pounds, Adam Rose. Adam Rose goes, there's usually a party sure to follow. Yeah, he's a lot of fun, but once the bell rings, he's all business. Don't be surprised if your jaw hits the floor at any point during this one. These competitors are absolutely unbelievable. Adam Rose looks ready. I mean, I can't, you can't really tell how Adam Rose looks because I don't know, but Adam Rose has got a chance at championship gold if he can win this match but he's got very good very skilled opponent under the name of Hideo Itami So the man formerly known as Kenta on the independent circuit has now got a chance at another title on the very first night of NXT he had a chance at the NXT championship but he was first eliminated now he's decided that maybe the NXT championship is a big a bit a step which is a bit too big for him to take at the moment decided to go for the NXT junior heavyweight championship instead Adam Rose ready to do act, ready to do battle to see who's gonna face Neville at NXT take of a monster's ball. Adam Rose, all business tonight. Reversing the day of this. He's really taking over this match now. Well, I must say, when Adam Rose made his WWE debut, Adam Rose got up on the video first. Then becoming a legitimate WWE superstar. But you know what? He's proved he has what it takes to be a huge star in this business. How do you sum up Hideo with Tommy's performance as of late? Hideo with a nice reverse DDT there. Very nice. 
The Rose goes out of Rose and now a takedown. And now off the turnbuckle. And they are reversing. And now Adam Rose is in trouble. Oh, nice slam. So up next is Dana Brooke versus Cameron. I was wrong. I thought it was this match. And then the main event, of course, it is, if you guys don't know, it's a tag team match. Finn Balor and Sami Zayn will work on a team against Kevin Owens and Tyler Breeze. Which should be a good tag team main event. Hideo reversing Adam Rose into the corner now. Going to work with kicks, throwing across the ring. And now knees to the face. Adam Rose with a kick to the goal. Maybe a little blow there. There's a spinning kick from Adam Rose. Maybe too close to the ropes. No, Hideo kicks out of one though. Adam Rose winning the test of strength and just elbows to the head. Hideo hasn't really gotten started in this match as yet. And now splash from Rose from the top rope. One count by it. One count on Hideo. Now more elbows by Rose. Rose catching Atami there. And Atami hasn't really been able to get out of the blocks yet. Oh no, Atami fighting back, knocking Rose to the outside. Into the barricade goes Rose and Atami now. Working hard on Rose. As the ref continues to count. Tommy with a drop kick. Rose trying to uh, avoid the punishment, but. Rose that's not in Atami. With Atami fighting back in well. A nice move there by Hideo Itami. And this is where Itami's game starts improving. Hideo with a massive DDT. Adam Rose try to kick, but a forearm by Itami. And now I'll kick to the gut once again by Rose. Now just taking down the time at the back. Uh oh. German suplex by Hideo. Adam Rose catches him into a suplex. Hideo tries to come back. Adam Rose cuts him off. And now it's on the other DDT out the corner, possibly. Yes, it is. In the cover. Adam Rose showing some all new viciousness tonight, wanting to be the junior heavyweight champion. Obviously, has to defeat Neville at Monsters Ball as well. But if he can get a win over Atami, then it will be a better chance of getting a title. Obviously.
How's it Rose? Knows the Tommy well, apparently. And now there's another cover. And his shoulders up now. That's a kick out. Nice. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Admiral's a takedown now. Nicely executed. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Ooh, a little showboating going on here. And he touches that one. And now Rose taking down Tommy. Adam Rose with a comeback. Adam Rose saw an opening, couldn't close the deal. Uh oh. -uh. Kicks to the gut. It's gotta be over now. And that might do it for Tommy. He's going for the bed. This could be it. I think he's got him. Tommy kicking out two and a half. They are reversing. Off the turnbuckle goes to Tommy. No, no, it's not suplex. And now Adam Rose. Party foul. And now Adam Rose taunting. The crowd and also taunting the timer here. Now going for the cover. Adam Rose took too long and the timer kicked out. I think it's gut check time now. And now Adam Rose no got control. Throwing him out the ring. Now the referee's distracted. Thank you for choosing to spend your Wednesday night with us. We appreciate you choosing WWE. Rose, uh, sorry, Tommy Axel now on the outside. Inside the ring again. Yeah, the referee's still distracted. This is where the action needs to be. Now Adam Rose throwing Tommy into a turnbuckle. That could do it. The shoulders are down. Adam Rose says he'll do what it takes to win. Back body drop by Tommy. And a strike lands. Reversal by Tommy now. Uh oh. Is that set up power bomb? Yes, it is. He made it. He made it to the ropes. And he escapes with a back suplex by Tommy. And now an armbar applied by Hideo Itami. Axel distracting the ref. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel Adam the Rose all the way over here. cheating his way back into the ring here. Oh, he Splashing the top rope could do it. Hideo kicks out two and a half. Neck breaker from Rose. Now another cover on a Tommy. You gotta think it's just a matter of time before Rose picks up the victory here. Knee to the gut. Now maybe looking for another splash. Oh. Adam Rose missing the splash and now Tommy got Rose down. Into a turnbuckle. Now Tony the DDT once again by Rose. A hard pin. Two count. 
And now Rose countering into a roll up. Ooh, Rose was trying to steal it, but Tammy says no. Now Tammy fighting back in. Now Tommy going to work on Rose here. Rose saying no. A belly to belly from Adam Rose. Surprising how much the social outcasts have improved in NXT so far. I've not even been here that long. Knee to the head. No, another knee to the head. What the hell happened to Axel? I swear he glitched. Where's he going? Why is he throwing steps in the ring? Is he going to distract the ref? No, what's the point in throwing steps in the ring if you're not going to distract the ref? Uh oh. The ref's broken. The ref's fixed. Now Adam Rose kicking out. Now Adam Rose going outside the ring. The time it was a German suplex. Ref, you're a cunt. Anyway, Tommy. I'll vote this up for this WWE action. WWE action is helping you get through this midweek blues. I'm going to be uploading this on Saturday. It's, it's cool, you know. Oh, suplex again. Now, cover by Rose. Somehow, with Tommy kicking out again. Uh oh. Slapping him, the shots to the chest, and now the kicks from Hideo Atami. That could do it here. GTS. GTS from Hideo. And now the Rose taking advantage of the distraction with a party foul. The ref was distracted by Axel, which means Hideo can get the win, and Adam Rose steals the victory. And now it's going to be Adam Rose versus Neville and Monsters Ball. Curtis Axel had his name written all over this match as he interfered on Adam Rose's behalf a numerous amount of times. Hideo. Had uh, Rose B in the go to sleep. Hit the go to sleep. Adam Rose was busted up and Chris Axel had the ref distracted and Hideo couldn't win. But then Adam Rose turned it around, hit the party foul while the referee was distracted. The referee turned around, counted the three count, and Adam Rose will go on to face Neville at NXT Monsters Ball. NXT take all that Monsters Ball. So thanks to Kurt Axel, Adam Rose is going to advance to NXT TakeOver Monsters Ball with a shot at the Junior Heavyweight Championship. But anyway, up next we've got some Divas action between Dana Brooke and Cameron. And now we're back with some more Divas, well some more NXT, we've obviously got some singles match action with the Divas. Emma and Dana Brooke coming out together. Emma and Dana Brooke with Emma, apparently. Emma with one of the more distinct ring entrances I've seen. 
seen in a long time. Yeah, you gotta respect the girl who dances as if nobody's watching. You know, she told me earlier today that she will not stop until she is the absolute best diva this industry has ever seen. Now Dana Brooke has got a challenge with Cameron tonight, but who knows what will happen in this match. So Cameron in real life is almost never seen on WWE TV, but on NXT TV, she is one of the most important divas because there's only four divas in the NXT ranks. Well, there's five, but I don't plan on using even Marie that much, so... Yeah. Anyway, Cameron is ready for action. Will it be girl by to Dana Brooke? Oh, Dana Brooke managed to, I think it's a power bomb and stuff, and she managed to power bomb Cameron to the mat and get the three count. Who knows? Which one of the, which one of these is gonna go bye bye? Dana Brooke. It's got Emma in a corner there. And Dana Brooke very well rest, very well trained. As um, Emma and um, Dana Brooke did work as a tag team against Cameron and Summer Rae back at NXT TakeOver. Let's get it on. And uh, they did win, so Dana has got good wrestling ability. And a good tag team connection with Emma. We've heard that the NXT Women's Champion will be in action next week against Summer Rae. So that would be quite a good match. But now Dana Brooke. She's got to control of Cameron now with a neck breaker. And a kick out by Cameron. So anyway guys, up next is of course the main event of NXT. The tag team match between Finn Balor, the NXT champion. Um, Sami Zayn, who was the challenger last week. But not anymore, of course. And um, they're going to go against Kevin Owens, who is um, going to be challenging Bala at NXT TakeOver, as far as we know. And, of course, Tyler Breeze, the supermodel, whose theme is copyrighted. But I will try. I will see if I can play it, and I'll try it this episode. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to keep it muted. But, um... Uh, we're talking about Cameron's time as a Funkadactyl, god damn it. I thought that time was over. Anyway, a shot to the gut by Dana. And Cameron reversing with a f uh, face buster, is it? Probably. Jawbreaker, that's what it is. And now Cameron with the roll up. And Emma getting involved. But Cameron still is in charge here of this match. Cameron's still in control of Dana Brooke here. Dana, Dana hasn't got much offense so far. Try to build her offense in this match. And another roll up by Cameron here, trying to steal it. Over the NXT Women's Champion's best friend. Now the natural selection. Hurricane Rana. And now Camel Clutch applied. Emma getting involved again. Has this been switched up to legend difficulty or something? 
Holy shit. And they're off the ropes because Cameron, now Dana, go try and take control. We're coming with a poke to the eyes. And now a neck breaker from Dana Brooke. Top rope, miss. Oh, two count. That could have been it for Dana. And that was signature for Cameron already. And what's she planning on doing? Cameron taking the table apart. Now Dana taking Cameron down. And Dana says, if this is what you want, this is what you'll get. German suplex to Cameron through the announce table. Now Dana running back into the ring saying, she's okay with the count of victory. Russian leg sweep. Russian leg sweep by uh, Dana Brook. And now taking control. The head butts from Brook here. Now got her feet on the ropes as she pins. Ooh, almost start. it. Uh oh. Girl, bye. And Cameron does have it in the bag because freaking Emma didn't interfere. Why didn't Emma interfere? I don't know, but Cameron's got a win over Dana Brooke. That was kind of a one sided match. Dana Brooke tried to fight back into it, but it didn't happen. Emma just stood there as Dana got pinned. And the go by from Cameron is what ends the match. And you got to think now that Cameron's top of the contenders list for NXT Championship. Who knows? But uh, anyway, up next, we've got the main event tag team match between Balor, Zayn, Owens and Breeze. And now we've reached our main event tonight. Here comes possibly the challenger for NXT Monsters Ball. We haven't decided yet. Here comes Kevin Owens. So Kevin Owens has got to work with his partner Tyler Breeze tonight. Both of them are, uh, do not like Sami Zayn or Finn Balor, but both of them have never worked together as a team, so it'd be interesting to see how it happened. And again, Sami and Finn have never worked as a team either, so it's going to be an interesting match. But Owens looks ready, and here's the ultimate test to see if I'll get muted. Well, content ID claim for... Tyler Breeze's theme. Anyway, you can hear the things in the background. Here comes Tyler Breeze. And um, Kevin Owens has got to be ready to team with Tyler Breeze tonight. Never teamed before. So I don't think this theme is going to be uh, allowed to be in my videos, I'm probably going to get content ID claimed for it, but I'm going to try it out anyway just to see if anything's changed. But anyway, Tyler Breeze is ready 
this tag team match. Tyler Breeze, uh, if he beats Finn Balor or Sami Zayn, he's got to be put in the NXT Championship contention spot, surely. Who knows? But um, Tyler Breeze is ready, and you've got to think he's really confident facing Balor and Zayn with a partner like Owens, a powerful man in himself. Tyler Breeze, quick and vicious when he wants to be. He's got a good finishing move as well. Like, uh, like Jerry Lowe said before, he's got the beauty shot. He said it in a video before, I can't remember which video it was, but there we are, he's ready. He looks like he's ready to beat anyone. He's still got his selfie stick. He should be able to use his selfie stick as a weapon, that would be quite cool. But anyway, here come the opponents. I decided not to play when it's Demon Natalia because it's not a championship match, it's not a pay per view. So Finbala in his normal attire here tonight. And So Finn Balor looking ready to win this match. The NXT champion. Make his way down to the ring. I feel like his team's a little bit too quiet, so that's why I turn it up. But Balor's teaming tonight with a man who challenged him for the uh, NXT Championship last week. He's teaming with Sami Zayn. And this is going to be an insane matchup. Whoa! The NXT fans firmly behind Finn Balor and Sami Zayn tonight. As you expected them to be. Balor Crown across the ring looks ready. Defended the NXT title last week on NXT against Sami Zayn. Defended it at NXT Takeover. Let's get it on against Kevin Owens in the two out of three falls match. Balor's already defended that title twice since he won it. And he's still got another man to come out. I almost forgot. <laughs> Here he comes. Sami Zayn. Four of WWE's finest squaring off in what will assuredly be an exciting tag team encounter. It doesn't get much more exciting than these teams set to square off here tonight. So Sami Zayn and Finn Balor, how will they work as a team? They faced each other last week. They both respect each other. They both like each other. And both of them dislike Owens and Breeze. Sami Zayn's faced off against Tyler Breeze before. And uh, Finn Balor's faced off against Kevin Owens before in this universe. And it's going to be a good match. Sami Zayn all sorts of fired up for this match. These, this, uh, these entrances are taking six minutes in themselves. Well, nearly six minutes. But anyway. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Stone Cold Steve Austin is staring at me. Na -na 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 -na. Okay, so I've put this match on Epic, which might be a mistake, because tag team matches take forever on Epic. But we're going to be playing as Balor and Zayn, of course. Not necessarily going to win, but... Owens and Balor starting off. The men who faced off for the NXT Championship at Let's Get It On could face off for the Championship again at um, Monsters Ball, but the reason it's called Monsters Ball is because Finn Balor is a monster. I might change the name, so I might tweak it slightly to Demon's Ball. Finn Balor trying to look for a quick win here of. Uh, who could possibly, a man who could possibly be the contender 
to his title once again, Kevin Owens. And now Balor and Zayn working together. Chop to the chest. Does he not have, does Balor not have spring bars? I thought, I thought Balor had spring bars, but okay, Kevin Owens catches him in a power bomb. Sling blade by Balor. Now tagging out to size in. And this could be an interesting matchup. These two battled many times before on the independent circuit as well as NXT. And Kevin Owens tags out to Tyler Breeze. I wonder if I'll get content ID claimed for uh, Tyler Breeze's theme. Probably, but I could sort it. I can try and sort it anyway. Nice German suplex. And now Breeze with the reversal. Zayn to trouble. Nice arm drag again. Balor and Zayn have worked well so far, but so have Breeze and Owens. It's been a kind of an even match so far. Zayn with the reversal. Now up top. Cross body. Into a cover. One camp. And now, Bal uh, now uh, Breeze tagging back out to Owens. Backdrop by Owens. And now Zayn and Owens had a story drive over. Zayn wanted to punish Owens here tonight. Off the ropes, Sami Zayn, another moon salt. Oh, top goes Sami. Drop kick. Now going up top again. Oh, nice move by Sami Zayn, and that could do it early on. Kevin Owen says no. And Sami throwing Kevin into a corner. And now double teaming with Balor. Balor straight kick to Owen's face. Finn Balor, the NXT champion, has earned has earned uh, the NXT title. He earned it on the first episode of NXT in that fatal four-way match. He's also defended it twice since then. So kudos to Balor. And now Owen's wants nothing to do with Balor. Kevin Owens a cheap shot from the outside. Breeze tries to take advantage, but Balor says no. The NXT champion, very well experienced. And a German suplex into a cover on Breeze. Owens didn't care at all. Owens says he doesn't care, he's a prize fighter. It doesn't matter whether he wins or loses this match. He'll still go on to face Balor for the NXT title once again. After that last match ended in controversial circumstances. Balor now working on all the limbs of Breeze. He might as well. Gives you a better chance of defeating your opponent. Anyway, Breeze throw into the corner and now Zayn coming in. Finn Balor and Sami Zayn have taken complete control of this match and a double shoulder block. Followed by another standing moonsault to Breeze. One. I'm guessing what Owens is going to be doing is going to be letting Breeze take most of the punishment, and then have uh, and then come in and hit the la uh, hit the finishing touches in the last second. Sling blade by Bala. Hurricane Rana by Breeze. And now Zayn has got Breeze in trouble. Owens, I believe, has moved. Now Breeze. Zane catching there. Uh, Breeze that hip toss. And now Zane breaking the count. And continuing the punishment to Breeze on the outside. Zane wants to prove that he is not just an underdog. 
he is a favourite for the NXT title hold. And you never know, Zayn might be challenging for the NXT title. And Zayn actually picking up the stairs. Zayn missing the high risk move. And now both men dazed. Drop kick. Tagging in Bala, the NXT title holder, into a cover. One. Oh, and he's breaking it up. And now Bala getting some revenge on Owens here. Off the ropes. Breeze counters. And knocks down Bala there with the strong Irish whip. But Bala fighting back, and now Breeze. Taking Bala down once again. And guys. We've just had news that there's going to be a little mini tournament between these three contenders for Finn Balor's title. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens and Tyler Breeze. Of course, you won't know how it works. Let me just explain it to you. First of all, it's going to be a triple threat next week on NXT. Sami Zayn, uh, Tyler Breeze and Kevin Owens are going to be a triple threat. And then whoever gets pinned from that, ma uh, from that match is out of the tournament. And then the following week on NXT, it's going to be a number one contenders match between the two single superstars that remain. So it could be Owens versus Breeze, it could be Breeze versus Zayn, it could be Zayn versus Owens. But um, whoever wins those matches will go on to face Finn Balor at NXT TakeOver Demon's Ball. I'm going to start calling it Demon's Ball now because it's more of an apt name than Monster's Ball. And now Bala lifting Owens again for a nice scoop slam. That could do it. One. Breeze getting involved. Now sorry, Bala throwing Breeze out. Owens taking advantage of the distraction. Oh, and Hurricane Rano attempt into a power bomb on Bala. And you got to think if uh, Balor, uh, sorry, if Owens or Breeze pins the NXT title holder in this match, Finn Balor, then that's got to be, that's got to give them a better chance of becoming the number one contender. All these men want to fight for the NXT title. Balor is the one who possesses it. But as you guys know now, there's going to be a sort of little mini tournament. And, uh the winner of the triple threat on next week's well actually the loser on the triple threat on next week's uh, NXT will be out of the running for the NXT championship and it will go down to two men and whoever wins out of that match will become the number one contender so it's quite an easy process if you guys don't know what I'm on about I will explain it more in next uh, next NXT episode but anyway Battle of the Hurricane Rana Tagging out to Sami Zayn. Nice crossbody off the ropes. Well, splash, I guess, actually. One, two. Ooh. Breeze kicks out. Now Breeze reversing Zayn. A flying forearm by Prince Pretty. And now Zayn taking it to Owens. Power bomb to the outside. Tyler Breeze might try and stick a bunch of the distraction here, but Zayn not letting it happen. Zayn and Bala have worked quite as a as quite good team, as have um, Owens and Breeze. It's just uh, Zayn and Bala seem to have had the upper hand in this tag team match. Drop kick to the side of Breeze's head could do it. 
Another one count. Owens. Ben Kilo getting involved. Tyler Breeze with a nice hurricane runner. In comes Owens. Now hurricane runner of Zane's own speciality. And now Zane working on Breeze. And now Bala getting revenge on Owens for the attack last week. Bala getting his attack, uh, getting his revenge on Owens, and now Sami Zayn with another standing moonsault could do it. One, no, another kick out. I say kick out. It's broken up again by Breeze. And now, oh, brain buster, brain buster by Zayn, kick out by Owens once again. Now looking to tag in the NXT champion, maybe. Uh oh, Zane's in trouble. And now all four men in the ring. Balor bringing Breeze in. There's a massive brawl. Now Bala the suplex. And getting out of the ring again. Bala just taking the cheap shots to Owens like Owens seems to do to Bala. Now the shots from Zayn. Now Zayn with the schoolboy. Kevin Owens. Owens reverse him. And now Zayn into a backslide. Kick out by Owens. Jawbreaker. Standing moonsault. And now Blue Thunder Bomb. Kevin Owens kicking out two and a half. Throwing Owens into the corner. Was looking to tie a baller in. But instead, Sami Zayn going on the top. And a headbutt to the back of Owens. And now Baller and Zayn, more double teaming. Maybe this is a measure of revenge. After Owens' attack last week. Owens reverses. Every time Owens tries to do an offensive move, Sami Zayn always finds a counter for it. It's going to get quite annoying after a while. But then again, Owens has found a counter for that. Roll up, schoolboy. A kick out by Owens. Owens reverses into a back slu slur spur suplex. Roll up. Ooh, nice kick out by Owens. And now the coup de grace for Bala and Zayn looking to finish it off here. One, two. Somehow Owens kicked out of the coup de grace. Another brain buster by Zayn into a cover once again. One, two, and Breeze breaking up again. Like 
And Bow says if the not going to tag me in, I'm just going to do it by myself. Suplex. And now Balor being brought back in by Zane. A strong cover, hook of the leg. One. No. Owens has been dominated here by Balor and Zane needs to make a tag to Breeze. Elbow reversal by Balor. No snap suplex. And now up top goes the NXT champion into an elbow drop. That could do it. Kick out by Owens. And a drop kick. In comes Breeze. Up to the top goes Bella. Elbow misses. And now Zane taking out Owens, but inadvertently also taking out Bella. And this could be a big a chance for Breeze. Five count. Now the ref admonishing. Like Let's get this thing done inside the ring. Bala here bringing oh, Breeze back in. Man, that bad. Man, and that now scoop slam. First all dropped to hold. And it has been another long tag team match. The last minute kick out by Breeze. And now the referee try to wrestle Sammy Zane here. Big clothesline by Owens to Bala. And that could do it. Two and a half count. Out of the ring goes Owens. And now Zane and Paolo working together. Both men down. Owens fighting back up. And now Breeze coming to help. Now Zane taking the table apart. Oh! Zane inadvertently taking Balor out. Uh oh. This could end a double count out here. Balor still down. And now a whole brawl on the outside. Zane going after Breeze. Balor going after Zane. Code breaker by Breeze. Even though it was by Balor. Balor in the ring. And now Owens in the ring too. As Sai is in. And Tyler Breeze continues to brawl on the outside. Tries a drop kick.
And now Owen's working on Bala still. Sling blade by Bala into a cover. Owens kicks out. Oh, nice move by Bala. Now Breeze getting involved. Sam is in. Want to tag in. Sling Blade. Once again by Bala. Bala might be going for a German suplex there. So Doran's counters and no Bala counters. Bala, uh, running Bulldog. Now a signature for Bala. Are we gonna see it? That's it. He's out. And now Owens taking Bala to the outside. Kicking him down. And now what's Bala planning? Bala planning a big move here. Bala with a spear through the barricade to Owens. As Zayn and Breeze continue to brawl. Owens is busted open. And now Bala. Top rope. Elbow to the outside reversed by Owens. And holy shit, this has been a high impact tag team match. Back into the ring goes Owens. And no one's been in there in crib a long time now. Tagging in Tyler Breeze. Breeze with Enzo Gary. Bala missing a drop kick, but following up with a scoop slam. Now a hot tag to Zayn. Sami Zayn coming in, knocking down Breeze, knocking down Owens. Blue Thunder Bomb. Somehow, Breeze fighting out. Now Baller and Owens brawling again. As on the inside, Breeze reverses the Haluba kick. Now Bala says he's doing whatever he can to win. Breeze reversed the Haluva kick. And now Zane snaps suplex into a cover once again. This match has gone on for a very long while. Zane counters into the Haluva kick. And now Zane with the cover. And Sami Zane has pinned Kevin Owens. That's a big win. It's a significant one.
and what a match it was. Tyler Breeze and Kevin Owens about to coming up short tonight. But as you guys know, there will be a three-man mini tournament happening over the next two weeks on NXT to determine the true number one contender to the NXT title at Monsters Ball. The punishment in this match was off the charts. And this is what busted Owens open. The suplex on the outside and then the halluva kick finished off Owens and Balor made sure that Breeze wouldn't get involved and these guys celebrating together opponents last week partners tonight and Zayn and Balor working well together so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play for your games. I'm sorry the main event match took so long, but it it was good. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have enjoyed the whole of episode 17. This has been Let's Play for your games with NXT. I'll see you next time for whatever I record.